Hey you, welcome back to the channel. And today we're going into our In Search Of series, In Search Of Great Tokens. In this series, what we try to do is we try to locate cryptocurrencies, not based on their price, but based on their use cases and what they mean to the world for the advancements uh, of our technology. Uh, will people actually be using uh, this um, technology, this cryptocurrency for, for anything in a practical way, in a day-to-day -day way? And so as many areas we cover um, in this area, but we try to bring you cryptocurrencies that we think are actually going to be significant, uh, that are actually going to be used. And so in this uh, particular series, we're doing BitTube. So I had talked about BitTube earlier uh, in several videos. I use BitTube. I use the platform. And BitTube was very interesting, very ambitious project, like many cryptocurrency projects are but what sets BitTube apart is I think BitTube goes in an area that has a lot of uses in our in our, in our society today but it, in addition to that there is actually I believe a need for BitTube so we're going to talk about that a little bit today as we explore BitTube a little bit more um, so interesting enough uh, one of the big uh, Social media personalities, Jordan Peterson, who's uh, become quite controversial based on some of his more conservative like uh, views, uh, more right wing views, uh, is said to have experienced some uh, 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 issues on traditional social media places like YouTube and what he's done is went over to platforms like BitTube, which kind of offer this decentralized place to upload your media content. And, uh, and, and so in that particular situation, when it comes to censorship and, uh, you know, uh, that's going to be attractive to some people to go over to BitTube and post a variety of, of, of content that may not be as acceptable in your traditional social media. Another thing that's quite interesting about BitTube is um, the idea that you can earn, uh, everybody earns by putting out this content, whether they put it out or whether you watch the content, it really doesn't matter. Everyone uh, gets to share in the value of the network, right? So uh, it kind of monetizes the entire uh, internet and social media space. Uh, not to mention BitTube feels a great degree like YouTube, which is the second largest search engine in the world. Um, and uh, you can upload video content to it. Now, although early on, this the quality of these videos weren't on par with like what you get with YouTube. And that, that was a problem as far as uh, the quality of the content with a lot of people. Uh, you know, you have to keep in mind that, you know, YouTube uh, started off as not a, a very uh, the video experience wasn't that it wasn't that great in the beginning. But over decades, it uh, became this this very high quality product. And I and BitTube's on a on a similar uh, uh, path. BitTube also you know, at this point in time has become a great deal more ambitious, kind of not sticking to just the video platform uh, angle. BitTube is branching off into many uh, other areas, uh, be it uh, more traditional social medias. Uh, as I understand it now, BitTube will be taking a more Facebook, Twitter-ish uh, approach along with the video uh, uploading uh content uh, abilities and uh so that's going to be very interesting because that's going to allow a great deal more people to now participate in the network and be able to uh gain value from it uh also by them doing this i i think for those who 
may not view the video quality experience um, in relation to how YouTube is. Uh, you know, some people might go, well, I just rather watch YouTube. Everything's already on YouTube. Uh, and they do have a browse extension where you can actually watch YouTube videos uh, and be connected to their network and still earn in their cryptocurrency. So it, it seems to me what BitTube is doing is doing this kind of a attention value, airtime token, similar to what you're getting with basic attention token. It, it's kind of this, uh, this uh, hodgepodge of many different uh, social network cryptocurrencies. And I, and I think that's going to work in favor for them because their what's unique about their model is the airtime uh the airtime feature which means it's, it's tracking the time you're engaged the time you're online the time you're on the website the time you're on the content uh and paying you based on your attention value and and that's a very interesting concept online that's gaming a lot of steam but many social networks haven't been able to quite do it as effective i think as the bit to model um also very interesting if you're a content producer or website owner or the like instead of putting annoying ads on your websites or have to try to get advertisements there you can just connect the bit to module and all your um all of the visitors to your site and the participants on your site will be awarded in their cryptocurrencies that are traded on exchanges so they can gain value through receiving this cryptocurrency as well as you get uh, more of it for all the visitors that come on your site. So very, very interesting ways to monetize your websites, monetize the entire Internet. And that's why the project is so ambitious and, and, and so interesting. So it does an excellent job of that. We definitely have to rank it as uh, one of the greatest tokens out there right now, surpassing many others. And even though the market cap just only is around three million dollars, that that's also quite uh, <laughs> uh, uh, some to consider that it has so much potential for such a large amount of growth. Now, uh, I had been critical a bit a bit too early on. I, I, I felt that uh, although it did seem to get a lot of things right, um, that uh, I just thought the marketing was it, it was something left to be desired in the marketing, whereas I thought. The concept of bit to would be a much a very easy sell. It doesn't seem to uh, as of yet be that. And I think it's just because a lot of people in social media due to the confinement of time, the average user can only be on a social media site about five minutes nowadays. So after about five minutes on average, he's either off to some other social media site or doing something else. So uh, as a, as a very busy people, uh, and and with a, such an oversaturation of social media, you are really going to have to stand out and be able to uh, get people accustomed to using your site. Uh, and although I do think this is going to be a very easy approach and a way to, to spread this message, it does seem like BitTube does still have a long way to go. Now, as I understand it, they are working on these this new development site that's going to make it easy for people to have uh, this concept like Facebook type, uh, Instagram type, Twitterish type feel to it. And I think that will attract a lot of more users, especially trying to con uh, especially trying to compete with YouTube to a great degree. It's going to be still a lot of people that just want to use YouTube. But there will be this this group of, uh, of of content consumers and creators that do certain content that. Uh, will be targeted by certain groups and, and not allowed to participate. And this obviously will be an option for them. So this, this is all interesting to watch. Uh, very, very watching uh, bit too very closely. Our site, BitcoinMYK.com, uh, is connected with BitTube and uh, we will be using them. Uh, and so um, that's going to be all very interesting to uh, watch in the future. But we highlight BitTube in, our, in search of great tokens. If you like content like this, don't forget to like, subscribe, and until next time, take care.